This video sponsored by Value Testers. Great promo offer on Testo, Field Piece, and Baccarat. Free two-day shipping on purchase of $200 or more on selected seasonal testing equipment. Link in description below. This video sponsored by Interplay Learning. Simulation-based, step-by-step, service testing procedures, beginning to advance courses available. A fun and entertaining way to advance your skills. Limited time discount. Link and promo code in description below. It is January 28th, 2019. This one here. This one here, I gotta go, um... Check out a yellow burn, it's tripping out on safety. Seems like it's tripping out every day, he said, so he wants me to go by there. I have I have been over there before and changed out a firematic on it recently. So I don't know. Might be an oil flow problem or carbon on a head or something. Let's hopefully it's something easy. On my way over there now. Keep right to Russell's Mills Road. So I was here, I changed the fire matic at the burn up. New nozzle, good oil flow. It was cleaned. New nozzle, new filter. It's been a while since I did the filter. So let's check uh let's check the oil flow. Pull the head out, see if there's any carbon on it, and we'll check the oil flow. <coughs> Last time I was here I did this. Let the burner off there and we'll pull this thing off and take a look at it. I'm curious what the head looks like if it's dirty in there or not. Curious if it's dirty. The nozzle looks like. Gotta reset it every day, so it sounds to me like a oil flow issue or something, you know. A dirty head maybe. Let's see what the carbon on the head but nothing crazy. It's definitely carbon on the electrodes though. Carbon on the electrodes for sure. It needs to be cleaned. Carbon on them electrodes, that might that might be what it is right there. I'm 
gonna check the oil flow. And these electrodes are pretty carved up right there. That might have did it right there. I got it all clean now. There was quite a bit of carbon right there in the electrodes. I'm going to probably change that nozzle while I'm here. should be fine. We're gonna change it. Put a brand new one in there just for shits and giggles. While it's apart. While it's apart, I got it apart. We'll put a brand new one in there. I don't charge the guy for it. I was here. I wasn't here that long ago. See that little hole there? That's where that set screw goes in. Locks right in place just like that. We're gonna check the oil flow, make sure we get a good oil flow here. Yeah, guy says he's gonna reset it every day. He comes home, last couple of days, he's gonna reset it. So. The carbon on the, the carbon on the head and on the electrodes is enough to do it. We'll see. See how it fires up. We're gonna check and see what we get for oil flow. See if we get a good oil flow. That's something I'm gonna question is the oil flow next. <clears throat> check the oil flow, we just jump out five and six here and when it calls for heat we'll be able to check it. Five is the load coming in, which is the black. And you just jump out six, which is the motor. Five and six. We'll run just the motor. Jump out five and then six. And they'll run on a call for heat, it'll run just the just the motor so you could purge it. On for heat. Somewhere. 
change the filter at the tank. We'll change we'll change the filter at the tank and we'll check this filter also. Yeah, had a good flow of oil coming out of that. So we'll check it. We'll check this filter. I had a good flow last time I was here, so who knows? I got a new filter, we'll check it. Make sure the tank's not blocked. Dirty, but we'll change it while I'm here. Oh, looks like there's water in there, son. Oh, crazy dirty. I bet you the pump filter at the uh, at the pump is bad. Dirty. See if we got any flow here. I'm gonna flow there. <laughs> the filter at the pump on the real is just a flat screen, I and mean, then it's not a big filter. It don't look that dirty, but we'll change it anyway. <clears throat> Let's see what we got for oil flow now. Turn it on and we'll check it.
this out and check this. Take this out and check it. Gonna shut off right here. There's a pump screen in here. There's a pump screen in here that's kind of it's very small. It could be what a what the issue is also, most likely. Yellow. You'll see the screen how small it is. Is that a problem? Problem. Yeah, the oil ring's probably still fine. We'll put it right back. She's a crusty one, Mr. Grinch. She's a crusty one, Mr. Grinch. Yeah, she's crusty. That's what I thought it was going to be an oil, oil flow issue. But while I was in there and I had some carbon on that, that head, I changed the nozzle too. While I was in there. I do have new gaskets for this yellow. Um, new filters and, and O rings in the truck. I should. But sometimes you could just clean them, put it back, see if it works. If not, we'll put a new one in there. Ain't, ain't the space shuttle. Ain't rocket science, Marlon. Turn this back on and we'll see if we get a flow now. Now that filter might not have been so dirty. Uh, and when I change the other filter, I got a good flow, and I don't think that's possible. Let's see if we get a good oil flow now. Oh, we should. Put it back together. She should fire right up now. <clears throat> Things happen.
right up nice. He's a choochin. Don't forget it's probably been spittering and sputtering a little bit because it wasn't getting a good oil flow. Alright, so it's been about what five months? Nine, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one. Five months. So I put a new filter at tank, clean oil burner, oil pump, cleaned oil pump filter, new nozzle, clean electrodes and head. And that should take care of it. She's burning cleaner now. Take care of it. We'll see. Time will tell.